so today I'm going to be showing you how to do this very glamorous but also very easy uh, makeup look for Valentine's Day. So I'm just starting off by priming my face and I love using a primer because it really moisturizes my skin and I'm going to be mixing my Dream Fresh BB Cream in medium deep with this e.l.f. foundation. I believe it's in the color Almond, but I actually don't remember, but I'll have everything linked down below, so be sure to check that out. And I'm just blending that in with this Sedona Lace 520 brush, and I'm just tapping so that this really mixes well with the BB cream. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows with this NYC eyeliner in bold brown and I actually will have an eyebrow tutorial coming up very soon. It should be a short quick video but it's just going to show you everything that I do for my eyebrows. So stay tuned for that to get a little more insight on that. And then after I fill in my eyebrows I just kind of blend out the center part and just get that all in order. And now I'm actually going to conceal a little bit around the edge of the brow because I hadn't tweezed in a while so those hairs were looking a little crazy. <laughs> Now I'm going to highlight with my CoverGirl concealer and also my Maybelline one and I use the Maybelline one after just to brighten up just a little more. You don't have to do this but I just wanted it to be a little more intense so feel free to skip that step if you want and then I'm blending it in with that same brush that I used for my base makeup, foundation, all that good stuff. Now I'm going to prime my lids for eyeshadow and I'm just using this matte like it's basically like my skin tone but it's just matte and it's just a nice base and then I'm gonna go ahead and tight line my waterline so that my lashes look a lot thicker once I apply my mascara and I'm going to be taking this color Oktoberfest it's one of the uh, hot pots from Coastal Scents basically all the shadows that I use in my videos are normally from Coastal Scents if you're wondering and I put that in my crease from inner corner to outer corner and then I'm taking this pink uh, Maybelline cream eyeshadow and this is going to be a base color for the pink that we're going to put on later and I'm mixing these two shades together I'll have them listed down below like I said before and I'm putting that on the outer V of my eye and then also the inner part of my eye so it's going to kind of make the middle look really really reflective and feel free to touch these up if you need to as we go and now I'm going to take Oktoberfest again and just blend that up in the crease just to blend out that line a little bit. And then I'm going to take New Terrain just to deepen up the outer V. Yeah. For the lid color, I'm actually going to be using a highlighter and this is the Baked Highlighter by e.l.f. And I'm just using my finger to apply this. And I'm just applying this cream eyeliner by e.l.f. And then I'm also going to take a liquid liner to focus on the winging part of this. I will have a tutorial for winged liner coming up, so don't worry about this not being enough detail for you guys. And then I'm going to take that same uh, highlighter and put that in my inner corner. Now I'm going to mix those two shades again that I used for my outer half of my eye and the inner corner of my eye and I'm going to put that underneath my lash line on a pencil brush and then I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara. <laughs> Now I'm going to add a black eyeliner in my waterline and then I'm going to go ahead and highlight underneath my brow bone with Foxy from the Naked 2 palette. You can just use it any matte off-white color, that'll work very well. <laughs> and then I'm going to contour with my Maybelline Fit Me stick and I'm just contouring like normal and blending it out with my small stippling brush and then taking my Sedona Lace brush with that excess concealer and all that good stuff and just kind of like re-highlighting any areas that got a little too dark. Now 
Now I'm going to be applying this cream blush. It's one of the L'Oreal Visible Lift blushes and I just used my finger and I did actually add a little more afterwards because it wasn't deep enough for me but it's just really pretty wine color so just add as much as you think you need and I just used a small stippling brush for that and now I'm going to set all my highlighted areas with this pressed powder. Now I'm going to bronze up my skin a little bit with this NYC Color Wheel Bronzer and I'm literally just setting my contour from before and just making everything a lot darker and a little more intense. You don't have to do this if you don't want, I just think it helps it last a lot longer. Now with that same highlighter that we use for our eyes, I'm just going to highlight above my cheekbones, down the center of my face. Cupid's bow, nose, all that good stuff, and you can highlight your forehead if you want. I just don't because I tend to get oily there, and then I'm just blending everything out. I'm using one of their uh, Sensational Nudes, I think it's called, and then I'm just using a pink gloss on top. This is a Claire by NYX, and that is all. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to give this a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. I love you! Ladies and gentlemen, this is Macadelic.